Hello, Cancers. Welcome to Visions of Light and Love. This reading is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of July 16th to July 26th. I'm sorry. This, this reading is from for the week of July 19th to July 26th. I don't know why I have the 16th on my mind, but it's, I don't know. But happy birthday, if your birthday is coming up, or if it's today, or if you are a Cancer Leo Cusper, happy birthday. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like my energy, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. I would appreciate this. I will appreciate the support. Um, yeah, this is for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the week of July 19th to July 26th. I'm going to shuffle one more time. I am going to cut the deck and then I will start pulling the cards for your overall energy. All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on with you. Spirit, what is the overall energy for my Cancers? What is the overall energy? Okay. So, we have Grace. All right. Grace. What is the overall energy? For the sign of cancer. Multi-dimensional. Multi-dimensionality. Okay. All right, cancer. You pull you got you are in some new energy. Maybe it's because we're in we're still in your season. All right. Okay. We have freedom. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, union. All right. Let's get your love oracle cards. Let's get your love oracle cards together. One. Two. Three. All right. Spirit, what is the pace energy? for the sign of cancer. What is the past energy? Okay. I take the cards however they come out. That's how I take the cards. So we have the Ten of Cups, past energy, the Four of Cups, the Ten of Swords, the Five of Pentacles, Temperance, Sagittarius energy, or someone could have Sagittarius in their chart, the Five of Cups. So you have the four of cups and the five of cups. What is the future energy? 
the eight of pentacles the justice card that's libra's energy okay have a libra in your environment and the nine of wands the nine of wands you have the two of cups at the bottom of the deck all right, Cancer. So your overall energy. Hmm. Starting off is grace. Grace. Beautiful cards. So. You could be adapting to. Things that are coming your way. Gracefully. Like when obstacles occur, you you are maneuvering through them gracefully without a problem, and it could be because you have activated the, the true essence of yourself with the multi-dimensionality card. You've activated who you are. So right now, you feel free. You feel free to be you. you. You, I would say overall, you are being your own individual. I'll put it like that. Because in the past, with the Ten of Cups, you could have been just like focusing on your family, your children. Um, just could have left you feeling like alone, bored. And that's not to say you don't love your family and your children, but when that is your sole focus, sometimes when you just focus on family, children, and what everyone else wants, you tend to lose yourself. But I feel like right now, you found who you are and you are walking in your individuality. But this, um, you becoming bored and disconnected caused some type of disappointment within you. This could have been something that you struggled with within yourself. With the Five of Pentacles being here, it could have caused a hardship. Could have caused a hardship within a family. Could have caused you or someone to walk away from each other. But right now, things are balanced, balanced out with the temperance card. Things are balancing out. You're compromising. You're doing things in moderation. This could be you or this could be your person. After some type of disappointment. Or this could be because now you're getting into you. Someone else is, is disappointed about something. Because now you found who you are. And you may not be giving this person your attention. With this four of cups and this five of cups being here. And now they are the ones that's disappointed and heart, heartbroken. So maybe um, the roles have reversed. In the future with the Eight of Pentacles being here. Something new could be coming in pertaining to work or finances. Or you're working on something new. Going to balance you out. Um, this could have something to do, to do with the legal matter. Like you could be waiting for money to come in. Or this could be pertaining to a marriage. Like some type of finances. Some type of new um, venture regarding finances but it's going to balance out a situation because someone is determined someone is determined so I feel the need to clarify so I am going to clarify this let's see what's going on
little more. <sighs> All right. Spear, why is the Ten of Cups here for the, okay. The Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Cups here for the sign of Cancer? We have the Two of Cups. The Page of Cups. The Five of Pentacles here. Why is there Five of Pentacles here? The Nine of Wands. Why is Temperance here? The Empress in the reverse. The Two of Wands. The Nine of Cups in the reverse. The High Priestess in the reverse. So we have Aries energy here. We have Cancer Pisces. Sagittarius and Libra. And the Ten of Swords. Okay. And we have the Fool card at the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. So in the past, you, you were focused on your family. You were happy. But you were solely focused on your family. You worked hard in this um, unit. <clears throat> but you were bored. You were bored. Could have been because you wanted reciprocity. You wanted some give and take with this two of cups. And it left you feeling with all this, um, this work that you was putting into this situation. It left you feeling disappointed. Left you feeling disappointed because you could have been feeling like you were getting a small token of love with this page of cups. Or you could have been feeling as if someone was being immature. Yeah, and it caused some type of hardship. It caused the loss and you walked away from someone or someone walked away from you. And with the nine of wands here, um, you're still working in this, this situation, but you're tired. Because with the temperance card, you want balance. Because you're not being nurtured in this situation. There's no nurturing in this situation. So you or your partner is disappointed because, and, you, and someone has a decision to make. Could be you, could be them. Someone... So the situation is not, you are not being nurtured. It's leaving you feeling disappointed. You're crying. And someone has a decision to make. This is either you or your partner. With the Ace of Pentacles being here, you're still working on it though. But your wishes are not being fulfilled with this Nine of Cups in a reverse. You want with the justice card this could be a marriage you want balance reciprocity in this situation you want balance could be dealing with someone with the initials of b j initials t o r or a but you you want reciprocity you want balance in this relationship Someone is not using their intuition. And I feel like it's you because that's your energy. You're not using your intuition. Or you feel or you feel like some some uh, there's a secret. You feel like there's a secret. 
And with the Nine of Wands being here again, someone is still working within this relationship. But there's still disappointment and heartbreak and betrayal because of this secret. So you could want to move forward with the Fool card. Could have something to do with an Aries or an Aquarius. Someone wants to move forward. Because they don't know what to expect in this relationship. Could be going into hermit mode. This is Virgo energy. We have the five of cups here again. Disappointment. With your lover. Or your significant other. The person that you want. The, per the, the father figure. Whomever the leader is in this home. Because of some type of deceit within a family found a foundation, their defensive tower moment could be with the Leo Sun card. Yep, Leo energy again. The King of Wands, Cancer. This is your energy. Someone wants to move on. I don't have to pull anymore. The cards are telling you the story. Something is being hidden. Because you have the two of cups at the bottom of this deck. The two of cups. You want to see eye to eye. You want balance in the situation. There could be a third party. This could be your wish fulfillment. But you feel like there is some deceit. So you're manifesting at this time. That someone nurtures the situation. Leo energy again. You need strength. Some of you are definitely dealing with the Leo. Because you feel like this situation is a stalemate. You want a new beginning in love. Within this marriage. Someone is acting immature. Or spying. Or. Um, acting. Uh, um, behaving in an immature manner. Okay. I'm going to leave it at that. The cards told the story. But, I am I mean, if I go on, freedom was the last card for your overall energy. Freedom. The union card was next. Freedom from this union. Because someone isn't being transparent. You want joy. You want joy. All right. Let's pull your love oracle cards. Spirit, can I have a love oracle card for the sign of for the sign of cancer? Can I have a love oracle card for the sign of cancer? That's too many cards. But let's see what they say. All right. I have stabbed in the back. We have two ten of cups. Someone is feeling like they were stabbed in the back. The time has run out. We got clock in reverse. Time has run out. But you're still trying to have faith with Cupid's arrow. Because you feel like this is your twin flame. You want to date. You could want to date someone else or have a date with someone new. Someone continues to run from this situation. There was a sudden change. Shocking news. You could have found out something. Now someone wants to express their love. Someone is an empath. Someone is a narcissist. Thinking about themselves. Selfish. And now they want to converse. So let's see. Is it over? We have... Okay. We have, of course... Yes, yes, and more yes. 
It's compli complicated. That slid right out. All right. So, Cantor, I feel like you are focusing on you right now. I don't know what's going on with your partner. They have seem to have some type of issues. But you're focusing on yourself at this time. And I feel like when you love yourself, nurture yourself, and focus on yourself, the energy will... Um, come back to you. This is your reading for the week of July 19th to July 26th. I thank you for watching. Be safe out there. I'm sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. I thank you for watching. Um, again, share, like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Comment below if this is your story. Enjoy your week, and I will see you next time. Bye.